Hello everyone, this is Queen Basmati with a new piece of information in the Microbes Makers of Civilization series. The information today is titled Microbes, the Secret of the Nile's Blessing. Of course, we all know that Pharaonic Egypt was a river state par excellence. The Nile was full of various types of algae, some green, some blue, and some floating on the surface. The first looked at these algae and dealt with them as a blessing from the Nile, not something to avoid or get rid of. What are algae? First, let's understand what the word algae means or what algae are. Algae are a type of microbe, sometimes they are visible and sometimes they are so small that they can't be seen. They live in water and can convert sunlight into energy. This makes them a natural factory for energy and the neutrons they can produce autonomously. Ancient Egyptians were able to use these algae for many things. In agriculture, the pharaohs used the algae that settled on the Nile's bank as natural fertilizers. They would gather it after the Nile flowed and spread it on the land because it was rich in nitrogen and elements that improve soil fertility. This was one of the secrets of their land's fertility throughout the years. They also used them in medicine. Some medical papyri, like Ibris papyrus, contain receipts for ointments where materials from the Blue Nile plants are mixed. Researchers now believe this refers to types of blue-green algae, or which called cyanobacteria. These algae were also used to treat skin inflammation and to disinfect wounds. Algae contained antibacterial compounds, which has actually been scientifically growing in your current era. In cosmetics and skincare, the fairies were brilliant in their beauty receipts. They used masks that included Nile mud mixed with dried algae remnant to soften the skin and nourish it with minerals. This means the first algae mask in history as Egyptian. In mummification, algae were also used in mummification. Some modern studies suggest that aquatic or marine algae might have been included in mummification mixtures due to their ability to absorb excess moisture and because they contain materials that prevent the growth of microbes. This suggests that algae even played a role in the secret of immortality. In short, for the first algae were fertilizers that nourished the land, medicines that healed wounds, a natural beauty ingredient, and possibly a tool.